Hello and welcome to another episode of STEM to Stern. Today we are on a brand new 2020 Sea Hunt 27 game fish. Uh, there's a lot of cool upgrades for the 2020 models and let me walk you through it. Starting up at the helm here, uh, as you can see this one is specced out with the twin 12 inch chart plotters from Garmin. Um, cool thing with modern electronics is because everything is networked together, you can have your engine instrumentation and your stereo stuff all displayed on your chart plotter screens. As you can see right now, I have one screen in chart plotter mode and one displaying the engine, in, uh, engine information. Uh, hiding in behind here, you wouldn't know it's there unless you know, but there's a wireless phone charger hiding in there so that you can charge your phone up while you're DJing underway. Up on the dash here, you have a little foam pad so you can put your wallet, that kind of stuff, so it's not bouncing around. Uh, major upgrade for the 2020 models is uh, where this was acrylic before, this is now tempered safety glass, so it's going to hold up a lot better long term. Uh, as with all the Sea Hunt models, down here you have your helm seats, where you have the flip up and down bolsters, flip up and down armrests. You have a foot pad down here, if you're tall like me, but if you're a little bit shorter, they've thought ahead, and you have a second foot bar for shorter people. Up above, you can see we have some controls for our forward spreader lights, aft spreader lights, courtesy lights, uh, and windshield. This is a power windshield that opens up for you. Uh, also in all their T-tops, you have these three freshwater misters, um, which when it's hot out, it puts an atomized freshwater mist out, and that is like outdoor air conditioning. It works really, really well. Um, the freshwater system also feeds a freshwater washdown on the boat, and it also feeds the uh, toilet, which I'll get to later. Uh, let's move forward. All right, so as I mentioned, we have a fresh water system on board, and that feeds the head. So down here, you have your master switches for the boat. You also have access to your batteries in the back side of your panel, uh, your porcelain head with a holding tank that can either be pumped out at the dock or if you're offshore. Uh, new stuff for the 2020 models is you now get a um, foam anti-skid mat down in the floor and a drain, and you also get these LED mood lights so you're not down in the dungeon. You can have a little disco down there. You also have a little dome light right there. So that's pretty neat. Moving forward, up here you have your big lounging area to keep the family happy. Uh, but what's nice is underneath these cushions, you have these lockers here that are on gas struts so you don't have to worry about them falling and squishing any fingers. And they're insulated all the way around and they drain directly overboard. So the benefits of that are being insulated and draining overboard is that you can either use it as storage or a fish box or a beer cooler, whatever you're into. And you have a matching one on this side as well. This centerpiece comes out, so if you wanna have a walk around U-shaped settee, you can do that. Or if you wanna have a big sun pad, you can have the cushion in the middle. Up forward here, in this locker, you have your integrated windlass and anchor. Uh, comes with 25 feet of chain and 175 feet of a rope road. You have controls for your windlass up here with these two buttons, and you also have controls for your windlass at the helm. Uh, you'll also notice while we're up here, you have these nice, big, beefy uh, pop up and down cleats, so when they're retracted, you're not catching any toes on them. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can have the holding tank pumped out at the dock. This is where your pump out is. Uh, up forward, you can see we have cup holders that have drains so they're not filling up with water. You have your integrated JL audio system. Uh, this boat actually has six speakers, two forward, two aft, and two in the T-top, and it gets bumping pretty good. Uh, moving aft along this side, if you look up, you can see this boat has been specced with the king rod holders, but you can also, as you can notice from the factory, have these brackets here, so if you want to put outriggers on, that's an easy thing to do as well. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about uh, with integration and upgrading in the future is um, these forward legs in the T-top frame actually have a chase built into them, so if you wanted to add radar or FLIR or anything like that, it's something easy to do because I've already thought about how to do it. Moving back, you can see we have tackle storage and drawers on this side and tackle storage and drawers on this side, as well as some knife storage. Uh, as I mentioned before, it has a freshwater wash down right here. And you also, from the factory, every Sea Hunt gets a stainless steel bottle opener. Moving aft further still, you can see we have these tow bars here, so that when you're fishing, you can lock your toes in, get your knees right on the pad right here, so you're not pounding up your knees, and you can reel your fish in. Uh, another new addition for the 2020 models is you have this jump seat back here now with a cushion, so you can fit at least one more person on board. Uh, swinging around the back here, 
you can see we have a uh, live well. And it's actually one tank, but with a divider in the middle, so you can run two different kinds of bait. Uh, we also have rod holders here, rod holders here, and as I mentioned earlier, you have the king rod holders up there. Uh, in the back here, we have this fold-away jump seat, which can either be in place like this, or fold the, fold the legs and flip it down, or you can just take it clean off the boat. In the back here is where we get to the serious fishing business. You have a huge fish box back here, uh, again insulated, so it'll keep the fish cold or your beer cold regardless. And then right next to it, you have another live well for bait, and they're all lit and circulating. Also from the factory, you get a nice little cutting board. Uh, this boat is specced out with the twin 200 Yamahas, which I personally think is the best option for this boat. It's the best balance between speed and price and fuel economy. Uh, the boat, you can get it with 250s, but we find that the 200s are really enough and really the best balance for the boat. Um, I think that's about it on this boat. And until next time, I'm Tom with Harborside, and I'll see you guys out on the water.